नमस्कार थैंक यू प्रज्ञा इज चेन्नई बेस्ट एन जी ओ फॉर हैविंग इन्वाइटेड मी टू दिस पोइट्री रीडिंग सेशन प्रज्ञा इज एन एन जी ओ फ्रॉम चेन्नई दे हैव बिन कंडक्टिंग दिस स्पेशल प्रोग्राम सिंस टू थाउजेंड एट बाई इन्वाइटिंग राइटर्स टू रीड देयर क्रिएशंस अगेंस्ट जेंडर वायलेंस एंड टू क्रिएट सोशल अवेयरनेस अबाउट दिस ग्रिम रियालिटी I would specially thank Professor K S Rilata, a very dear friend and an eminent poet herself, and Swarna, a poet and critic, for giving me this opportunity to read one of my creations on gender violence. In fact, I am trying to create awareness against gender violence through this poem. The title of the poem is "Letter to My Unborn Daughter." I took long 20 years to write this letter to my unborn daughter whom I lost 20 years back to violence domestic violence I could never gather the courage to write about her but then recently there was a book on epistolary poems and they requested me to write a poem and I somehow could gather the courage to write it and today I got an opportunity to to read it for you uh in the poem i'm using the panchamahakanya as the metaphor my daughter whom i lost 20 years back i am requesting her i am asking her to come back to me as my daughter once again and use the best powers the strengths of the panchamahakanya and avoid the avoidable ones and the poem starts with a with the existential reality of gender violence but definitely the poem ends in a positive note where i am asking my daughter my unborn daughter to possess to have all those qualities of courage conviction power and strength like kali like the goddess so that she will be the one to decide her destiny herself no one else can do that should do that for her for her and i am inviting my daughter come back to me as a woman of power so here is the poem for you letter to my unborn daughter tiny lips smeared with my fresh inflamed blood oozing out of my womb gushing in fact i knew i had lost then and they chat my sukest burped then and snored in a short while when the maid rushed us to the local hospital i heard what you never uttered ah heal us protect us you and me me and you mom and her little girly wish to take the world in their stride today a letter to you my unborn daughter after long 20 years two decades of quiet travel telling our tales to your younger brother with a bleeding heart i smile with exulting tears smile to see my dream daughter alive in her brother little so full of love and compassion so much feminist humanist male to you so much me so as i would have loved to have you ah there was such rays over a female fetus growing up to be a girl a power and conviction like mother or like the panchamahakanyas and the marital rapes the threats to snatch you any given day if i dissent and then the termination if at all there is a next birth for you my little fairy come back come back to my womb life minus you it's such dreary if you need not play the games that the heart must play pronounce before birth you are not going to be the woman of clay like ahilya never fall prey to indra's trickery if ever you do 
do it by your choice not anyone else's neither gotham's nor andres your penance need not be broken by lord ram the one who judged his own wife you need not for remain that dry stream that stone till you find a way to my home once again in another life another yug you need not be condoned of your guilt you never were guilty let indra be cursed castrated concealed by a thousand valve that eventually turn into a thousand eyes or like draupadi take your birth from fire be an incarnation of the fierce goddess kali or the goddess of wealth lakshmi but never be the sacrificial goat to accept five husbands just because someone else deliberated that if an yudhishthir drops you at the himalaya because you loved arjun more look in his eyes and declare loud and clear it's your right to live love and pray while never deriding the duryodhan and kurn of your destiny live laudable might here nor kunti be your role model but if ever you propitiate the seas durvasha who grants you a mantra to summon a god and have a child by him then take the responsibility take the charge don't you recklessly test the boons life grants you by haze nor invite the sun god surya give birth to karna and abandon an unborn child is much better than the one rejected for loan or if ever you are tara the apsara the celestial nymph who rises from the churning of the milky ocean be the tara sugreev's queen and chief diplomat the politically correct one the woman in control of herself and folks around in the folk ramayans or be mandodari the beautiful pious righteous ravan's beautiful wife who couldn't be his guiding force bivishan's compliant wife the indomitable grace be you the elemental candid real woman who is my ideal don't ever let another female fetus be the victim of sadomasochism unlike your fragile fledging mom be all that she could never be accept my prayer before birth moon rain oceans and the blue firmament shining stars and the sun a glow are all i have you must call them your own my unborn daughter forgive me my love for you died with all the petals falling from my autumnal breast the breast that you never suckled you rain on my being and burn my heart but calm my soul you will stay indomitable taking new lives every single day in mom's prayers poetry social responsibilities eco feminism messages voices layers of thoughts and action my girl i am what i decided to be after losing you only after losing you that is the euphemism i am not just a woman since that fateful night i lost you but entire woman kind now i am a woman of full circle within me there is the power to create nurture and transform i rediscover pieces of myself through your unborn narrative in the resonance of my quirky confluence thank you and thank you sri lata and swarna for giving me this opportunity to read my poem thank you